day, new walk. New thing for the channel, I'm gonna do a walk for the next 10 days in different in the area. Got a new camera that someone's loaned me. So today I get to show you my dog walk that I shoot all my videos on. But it's given me a bit of inspiration to be honest that from now on, I wanna encourage people to get out and get walking. This is a motivational channel, but I get my motivational for going out walking and just enjoying the outside, the nature. I love my dog. We fall out a lot. She's down there, look, always there. Just a quick one example of dogs. Last night we had a little bit of a disagreement at home and I must have come up with a certain tone in my voice that I use and I'm sat there and I'm you know, feeling a bit sorry and glum for myself. And then I turn around and she's come right up to me because she knows that tone. So if you want a best friend and you live alone, get a dog no one loves you like a dog it's the most amazing feeling so i'm going to get back to my dog walk i've got a lovely snippet of what happened to me yesterday a little bit of a little bit of a uh, motivational nugget masked right by an ugly it's like it's a beautiful sweet on the inside with a horrible outside that no one wants to try i'll give you that next get back to my dog walk which is yeah you get to see it this is the exact same walk i do every day you'll see where i shoot my videos so we'll get back to that and more videos to come of some different areas in the Lake District. I'm going to start going and looking at different areas and letting you lot know about it so you can do it. But get out, get walking, make yourself feel good. That's what the main thing's about. Back to this, back to the dog walk today. Audio Jungle. <laughs> not knowing where the walk is i live in kendall cumbria which is uh, the gateway to the lake district the last shot was kendall castle which is right near the town well worthwhile anyone coming anywhere coming well worthwhile going having a look at the castle it's a phenomenal place where i live but this I'll just show you this this is a place called fletcher park i mentioned it in in lots of my videos Really relaxing, beautiful place to come. You should find a place. Everywhere you live, there's a place. This is only a little park. So it's only a small park, but it's a beautiful place. It's somewhere where I come for a feeling of, oh, to calm. I know I madly enough do that. I sometimes hug the trees. That's where I'm at now in my life, these 40s. Um, so, walking. This is an amazing walk for anyone looking for a short walk. It's 30 minutes. It can be accessed from the middle of Kendall Town. It's phenomenal, Fletcher Park. I have three variants I'm gonna show that. I'm gonna show so many walks that are encouraging you to get out there, but let me give you anywhere the snippet. I have a friend yesterday, his name is Iron Bill. So this one's for you, Iron Bill, because you told me you watch my videos. Um, Iron Bill was 67 yesterday. I met him when I was 18 and he became, I, we, we blagged him to become our football manager at the time and he lived in Romford and he has a holiday home in Kendall. So we eventually got him to come. These are the three things he said about my videos. He says he watches them all. He says, I am becoming like a, thes a camp thespian. That's how I come across. The second thing he told me was, <laughs> I'm gonna make people kill themselves. And I said, why? I'm trying to do the opposite. I'm trying to motivate people to enjoy life. He says, well, not everyone can be, not everyone can be as happy as what you are. Sorry. Not everyone can be as happy as what you are. The things people will say to you. Last night he said to me, he goes, I'm, I wasn't gonna tell you this, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Every one of your videos, you have a really smug smile, he said. 
So they were like the they were the ugly outside of the suite that referred to. But then we get the words of wisdom, and this guy's got a lot of words of wisdom. Once you get beyond his accent and he swears a lot, there's so much wisdom, it's unbelievable, and I enjoy tapping into it. So thanks, Bill. So yesterday he told me he's been a very successful builder. Uh, building houses and a range of different businesses and yesterday he told me why and it, this is what made me think of this yesterday he said when I was a young kid and I was about 10 I started painting fences but what I realized was I got five pound to do the fences and if I got someone else and paid them 250 I get my five pound and I get their 250 and I said that's pretty amazing at 10 because I met this old guy this old guy told me you'll never make any money doing everything yourself you need to get other people working for you. So at 10 years old, so that was 57 years ago, Bill, just so you know, at 10 years old, someone give you that kind of words of wisdom that you took for the rest of your life. So that made me think about the words of wisdom that we give, that every one of us has an opportunity to inspire other people. I've no idea what the old guy was called, but he made a massive impression to build. 50 years later, he's, he reaps the reward to the advice he was given. And this happens all the time with your own kids. But there's much more than that. There's much more opportunities that you get a chance to shine everyone. Every day we get a chance to make someone give them belief and make them feel better. And when I'm on my walk, this is why I've started thinking about doing more walks, I get a lot of opportunities to stop and chat to people because people often don't stop and chat. And when you stop, you realise that people want to, but they're scared to do it. So it's that two things that come with a walk is you get the opportunity to create a good feeling in people as you go but you also get that opportunity to, to give someone something that's much more than anything physical and that's words of wisdom or just appreciation so that's my note of today I'm gonna to get back to my walk look at the dog he's doing that I don't know if it's got like a filming phobia or whatnot but uh, it keeps keeps doing it so back to my video oh yes two things before we go I'm doing a podcast about procrastination that I'm going to do that in half an hour. So I'm doing the podcast and key subjects. I'm a procrastinator massively. So I want to learn what this guy who wrote a book called J.R. Cook. He wrote a book about procrastination. I'm going to go and have a chat with him. Hopefully he's going to help me out. Subscribe if you've not subscribed to the channel yet. We're going to do lots of walks, lots of little snippets of motivation, how to feel good. Let's get back to the walk today though. This is the owl place up there, it's not there today, but you can now see if I, on all my previous videos when I talk about the owl, where I see it at and where it is on my walk, so you know I'm just about to do the run. I was just thinking about it. I do this run every day and I'm going to do these walks, so I need to find something else on the walks to do, so I'm going to think about that. If anyone's got any thought, write, write in the comments. Instead of an uphill thing, I'm undecided because walking and exercise are the things that make us feel good and we've got to do them if we're going to be serious about achieving what we want in life we've got to do them things we've got to be fit we've got to be healthy it makes us feel good and it's interesting the procrastinating thing we're doing later i procrastinate a lot before i come out for the walk i get up really early and i can stay there for like two three hours and a lot of that's a waste and it's interesting talking about procrastinating i'm going to do that talk i did some notes one of them was accountability make yourself accountable because i'm an entrepreneur I'm, I'm only accountable to me and it, it, it's one good thing having a happy-go-lucky nature but then too much time I'll just think I'll just leave it I'll be all right because I will always be all right because I make it so I'm all right but I can't always think like that I need to be more accountable so anyone watching this who's watching it locally give me some local walks uh, you can make in the comments section or on the socials write a little DM or put it put a comment on it and I'll go and do them walks and show people the different areas you know, this is Kendall. Kendall's an amazing place. I do, you know, I do, I do absolutely love Kendall and I can, can't deny that. Um, so yeah, just about to do the run. Keep me accountable. I'm doing 10 walks, not in 10 days, but I'll, this is, this is the first one and I'll do nine more within 14 days because weekends sometimes I change how I go about things. So make me accountable and you be accountable. Accountability for whatever it is, for changes is what, 
is what will make things happen quicker. So if you're wanting to make a change, become accountable, make someone accountable to what it is you're doing and you'll find that whatever you get done gets done better and you, with you put more into it because there's no excuses. All right, no excuse. Just about to do the run that you're going to see that I do every day. That's the end of this video. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, sub subscribe to the channel because we're going to do a lot of cool walks and I'm going to do find snippets on the walks that give you that little bit of motivation for your own personal lives because all I want you to do, like me, is try and get the best out of it. We can't always do that because life catches us up, but we can try our hardest. Life can't stop that. No circumstance can stop trying your hardest. So let's stick at that. Back to it. Here she is. Miles, how are you doing? She's always in a good mood, aren't you? Hey, no one's seen you like that. Sit down. No one's seen you up front. They're always behind. How's it going? <laughs> talking about Kendall, cats how near it is, the town centre is just there. So it's, if you come to Kendall, you can get up the castle, half an hour amazing walk. The town goes right around, we're in like, the castle's obviously in the middle, and it circulates right around, there's some, be some beautiful walks that I'm going to show you. Come to Kendall, that's the beauty of it. There's the dog coming, Miles! <laughs> <laughs> hey Miles. Hi. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Hey oh, man and his best friend look. Hey. Miles is 11 in June, so it'll be great one day to cuz she's going to live forever though obviously, cuz she is. <sighs> That's Kendall Town. Watch yesterday's video where I showed you a little bit of the town center on my way to work. I started it filming in front of other people, one of my fears. Facing your fears, that's one of the things that we need to complete in life, and that was one of mine. Still fearful, but if I do it again, I do it again, do it again, do it again. <sighs> to show there's no gyms open but we can always find a place to do something. 